Hi, my name's Carrie Court. We work in lots of schools and with beavers, brownies, scouts and rainbow groups with climate champions like you. In this video today, we want to share how you can have fun and use the power of dance, music and song to share really important environmental messages. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm going to be helping Carrie today. Before we look at some examples of dance, music and song, let's explore why we need to sing and dance with the planet, why we need to make the world a better place. Well, we've got a big problem on our hands, guys, and it's mainly driven by our behaviour. We're doing bad things to our planet, and these bad things are causing temperatures to rise. This is called global warming. When the temperatures rise, more bad things happen, like floods, storms, wildfires and droughts. We need to change. But the good news is people are changing. In fact, the coronavirus, albeit it's been terrible and nobody wanted it, it has actually helped the planet. It's made us slow down. In fact, it made us stop. We've been locked up in our rooms like naughty children, sent to our room to think about the way we've been living. And we've been given time to rethink our lives and make changes. It stopped people driving around, flying all over the world, buying lots of unnecessary goods that had been shipped from every corner of the planet. All this driving, flying, shipping uses what's called fossil fuel which when we use this fuel, it lets lots of bad gases, mainly carbon dioxide, up into the atmosphere, into the air above us. And these gases are causing like an invisible duvet around planet Earth. Then when the sun shines, a lot of the hot air that would go back out into space isn't released back into space because of that invisible duvet. So the planet's warming up. So we've been forced to change. And although it's been a really, really tough time, it has helped the planet. Now we need to make sure that we don't change back. That we are the change. That we keep these changes and keep helping planet Earth. Well, today I want to share with you two ways you can have fun and help people to understand we need to look after the planet for the sake of all the creatures and humans we share this great planet with. We're going to look at the power of music, song and dance. Music has long been an effective way to communicate with lots of people. The lyrics and words have played a massive role in delivering really important messages. Music, of course, goes back to the beginning of human life on planet Earth. I want to just look back to the Second World War when an amazing lady called Vera Ling became very famous for her song We'll Meet Again. The song was released in 1939. It's a long time ago. It's when the soldiers were going off to war and they were on the battlefields. It was the song the soldiers, their families and sweethearts listened to. It gave everyone hope that one day they would meet again. The song was a symbol of hope, strength and unity at a time of national crisis. Music has the power to create lots of different emotions in people. It can make you happy, excited, sad, relieved, horror and joy, for example. It can help heal broken hearts, bring people together, lift spirits when they're down, and communicate really important change. Music's all around us. The music of the birds can be heard everywhere you go. It would be a sad world without their music. Just imagine the first dance at a wedding with no music. No music to listen to on the way to school. No music in church. What a weird world that would be. Now I'd like to introduce you to a piece of music that made me cry, but it was tears of joy the first time I heard it. It's a piece called Be The Change 
by Emily Barden, who's a, a composer, songwriter, and music teacher locally. It's, I heard, first heard it when my son's school were practicing it for the local music festival, when lots and lots of surrounding schools learnt the words and then came together at the Hall Theatre to sing it. Now, if I'd heard adults singing it, it wouldn't have had the same impact, but it was a stage full of children singing about being the change and saving the planet. And I found it a very, very emotional experience. So I really realized the power of music. Um, I urge you now to sit back, listen to the music, listen to the song and enjoy Be The Change. I hope you really liked that song. The music and lyrics can be found on www.singup.org. You can replay it as many times as you like and learn the words. And maybe when you go back to school, you can ask your teacher if the school can learn it and then maybe sing it at parents' assembly. So all the parents, the grands, the granddads, the uncles and aunts can hear 
be the change and uh, hear the message from you, the children. Now you can go on to Sing Up's website where you'll find lots and lots of resources to help you learn about using music. Loads of different types of music there. Um, so do go and explore. Now I'd like to pass you over to Catherine. She's a young, very talented dancer who's been working with us and helping us with our environmental education. She's going to first explain to you what inspired her to um, choreograph her dance, The Lost Words, and then we'll show you her Lost Words dance. Sit back and enjoy. I love the book The Lost Words by Robert McFarlane and Jackie Morris. It's full of beautiful poems and pictures which celebrate the natural world and which capture my imagination. I'm a dancer and I found it sad that although people were creating stories, art and music about our planet, there seemed to be very little dance. I wanted to change that. Dancing outside can be challenging. The uneven or sloping ground can make it difficult to perform certain movements and grass, mud and gravel can all feel different to a studio floor. But it is my favourite way to connect with the world around me. A dancer's life is typically a very indoor one and I normally spend most of my time in the studio. I realised this year how much I miss seeing the sky, feeling the breeze and smelling the trees while spending long days training in class and so it has been nice in lockdown to dance in my garden and then further afield as I began to make this video celebrating the incredible wildlife we need to protect. Part of me has always wanted to be a bird and I often say that dancing is the closest I come to flying. I encourage you all now to get outside to dance and to take flight. With care, my love, and speak the things you see. Let new names take and root and thrive and grow. And even as you travel far from heather, crag, and river, may you, like the little fisher, set the stream alight with glitter. May you enter now as otter, without falter, into water. Enter the wild with care, my love, and speak the things you see. Let new names take and root and thrive and grow. And even as you travel far, from heather, crag and river, may you, like the little fisher, set the stream alight with glitter. May you enter now as otter, without falter, into water. Look to the sky with care, my love, and speak the things you see. Let new names take and root and thrive and grow And even as you journey on Past dying stars exploding Like the gilded one in flight Leave your little gifts of light And in the dead of night, my darling Find the gleaming eye of starling like the little aviator, sing your heart to all dark matter. Through the world with care. 
swim you deeper, oh my little silver seeker. Even as the hour grows bleaker, be the singer and the speaker. And in city and in forest, let the larks become your chorus. And when every hope is gone, let the raven call you. Did you enjoy Catherine's dance? Why don't you go away and dance? Go away and find some music that really suits your mood and dance. Find other members of your family to dance with. It'll get your endorphins going, make you feel really good and really connected. Music, song and dance are really empowering and inspiring. So use these tools and be the change be the change that we all need and so desperately want to see. So off you go, climate champions. Go and compose a piece of music, a song, or go and choreograph a dance. Go and be the change. <laughs>